Script animation uses simple techniques and takes advantage of lag between command execution. Before that, I am going to let you read this configuration code and copy it down with the comments. So if you'd like to pause. And now we go to object oriented programming. Size refers to the flower petal size. Color refers to the petal color. Sharpness refers to the angle furthest away from the sunflower center. And center size refers to how big the center will be. The radius of the spinner trajectory is required so that the blade spin around the center and not anywhere else. The turtle.circle command needs a radius parameter as well. The radius is based on the center size radius plus the height of the triangular petal up to the midpoint as, as the midpoint is the center of the turtle and where the turtle commands are based on. The x5 multiplier is due to the fact that the side length of the regular triangle is 10 pixels which were divided by 2 to reach the halfway equal 5. The rest is basic trigonometry that I assume you know. This is a method used to put the blaze on a circular trajectory. It works thanks to partial movements with speed and the circle command. Puts the turtle on the correct trajectory. Now the center is filled in by an orange circular turtle, so large it's going to be partially hidden by the petals, and due to this, it will look like a central octagon. Here, the program will spin until it's shut down. You will not see any lag with the petals, nor the spin maneuvering, as the tracer is zero, Disable image updates and will only update after all the maneuvering has been done. And that's it. If you want to see a different way to make turtles spin, check out my spinning wheel and find how I could have used Tracer Zero to make the spinning smooth.